Hey and welcome. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been following this environmental activist organization called Earth Justice, which is a nonprofit organization who's devoted to creating a better environment, whether that's advocating for pollution or saving endangered species from extinction. The issues that are described in Earth Justice are all like categorized by cases and in that case there are articles um under each category now these cases are specifically chosen um by the risk factor um this may be because of the health issues that this sort of environmental issue causes like for example pollution um if there's pollution the it could be prominent to diseases so it's based upon the health factor or about upon the risk to one's community how bad does it impact them so for my profile i went with the endangered species approach and i found a particularly interesting article on the earth justice but on the earth justice website and it is called judges agree they ought to be free now this is uh, this discusses how sea otters are threatened by fisheries and the no otter zone, which the no otter zone is basically um, what prevents the otters from swimming along the entire coast of Southern California. And the reason why the no otter zone is specifically important is because it prevents otters from living in their habitats and preventing them from like just helping other ecosystems since they are a keystone species it just prevents them from living a normal life and not allowing them to migrate is specifically bad for like their health because they might not find the specific foods that they need in their um specific habitat and if they want to this just prevents them from even existing <laughs> This prom prom prompted me to interview her about her career as an environmental activist and the procedures she conducts during these cases. Representing this case was senior attorney Andrea Treese. For those who aren't familiar, Andrea is an attorney who works for the organization Earth Justice, like I mentioned. Um, and she specializes in cases that involve oceanic species who are on the verge of endangerment. And the most popular case she in was involved in discusses the endangerment of sea otter habitats by a local fisherman, which I'll be asking her related questions to in the interview. So I plan to start off with the basics, um, just asking specific questions involving her involvement as an activist, um, career and organization she's involved in. And these are some of the questions that I plan to ask. And question one is what inspired you to become interested to advocate for endangered species whose habitats are threatened by man-made causes? Question two, what is the most rewarding experience you have had while working on an environmental case? Three, what is it like to work with such a unique organization like Earth Justice. Four, how is Earth Justice different from every other environmental activist campaign? Five, what do you consider to be the most important environmental issue that humans face today? In your opinion, do you think humans are the cause of some of these environmental causes? Now, the next section will be solely focused on the Sea Otter case and the way that Andrea Treese conducted these. Question one, for any case, how does the process of developing, researching, and providing a solution for an environmental issue work? Are there any strategies used to make this approach easier? Question two, in the sea otter case, the case mentioned that the otters had an influence on atmospheric CO2 levels. Is there a specific way that these levels are analyzed and then calculated? Three. What are the most common issues that an endangered habitat faces? What are some ways that we can help prevent these threats from spreading? Four, in terms of the sea otter case, how impactful was this case to their threatened habitat?
Did it provide the sea otters with a less endangered ecosystem? Or could there still be more threatened habitats? Five, concerning the Endangered Species Act, how would you describe its importance to struggling ecosystems who are near extinction? Six, since sea otters are considered to be a keystone species, how do they help other key ecosystems flourish? Seven, how can members of an environmental activist community protect endangered species from man-made threats? So hopefully these questions give you a little insight of what the interview will actually look like and how the Earth Justice, and Earth Justice Organization actually works um, because it shows you how these attorneys turn like convert research into physical evidence and they use that in court to help with these environmental issues. And if any of you are interested um, in this case that I mentioned previously in this video, I will link the article down below and you can go check that out if you are interested. And if you're interested in environmental activism and want to learn more, you can visit the Earth Justice website with earthjustice.org. And if you feel compelled to act, they also have a donation um, where you can donate on their website and give back to any case you want to. That is your choice.